Oh, hello there, Apps by viewers. My name is Peter, and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time, it's with the Sleeping Prince. Uh, here I am, look. Just having a little doze. Oh, I need some coffee. Hold on a second. Let's wake ourselves up. Ah, there we go. Okay, so, video games. The Sleeping Prince is a physics-based platformer uh, where you don't do any platforming because you're asleep. Here I am, look. I'm getting covered in stuff like boxes. Um, I'm, if you tap and hold on the little dude, he's, uh, there he is, you can sort of move him with some precision, and then you flick him, and uh, it flicks him. You want to move through all of these stages as quickly as possible, picking up as many gems as you possibly can as well, and uh, the fun and a lot of the humour derives from the fact that this is a, uh, you know, it's, it's a game with a ragdoll physics engine. So at the end of each stage, you have level goals that you can try to reach and number of gems that you're going to reach and you're rewarded accordingly at the end as well and then you move on forward so let's uh, move on to the next stage it's got lots and lots of Facebook integration uh, you can see how well you're doing with friends that sort of thing it also quite often asks you to share good news with your Facebook friends this is chapter 2 bed chamber let's do this and uh, you might have noticed that the loading screens are slightly long. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's a good looking game, definitely, but it's but it, it does take a little while uh, for it to get going. Tap every chest you find to unlock the treasures within. Lovely. So uh, we're doing that as well. And uh, yeah, it's got a good humour. It's it's well made. I think this is uh, this is definitely for people who sort of have graduated from physics-based puzzlers like Angry Birds and stuff like that. They're looking for maybe a bit more of a challenge, something like that. This is definitely one for you. It's a odd, what some would say, unique uh, puzzle platformer. And there we are, another level complete. I really like the look of it. It plays really well, I feel. And um, I quite like the fact that, uh, you know, that there is this there is this odd twist on the typical fairy tale formula, which I mean, at the end of the day, you are still rescuing a, a princess who's trapped by an evil man, but uh, you're you're asleep for the entire thing. So I think that that's quite quite cool. Uh, so let's see whether or not we can play the next mission. Can we play the next mission? Yes, we can. Thank goodness, because there are lots of sort of data loads as well. Uh, the game asks you to sort of connect to the internet so that there's even more stuff. Uh, so it can sort of download even more stuff, basically, uh, every once in a while. So I had a big download to begin with, and then another big download to play one of the first levels, and then another big download for level two and beyond. So there is that to take into consideration. Is that magic jewel I see here? They refill your magic. Let's uh, go and grab that then. Let's refill our magic. But it's pretty cool. Uh, a, a, a neat twist on the puzzle platforming genre. Have you grabbed this one? Uh, do let me know in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.